Welcome Galactic Family. There is no doubt that time continues to accelerate as it advances in the age of great changes that will transform this world. You are venturing further into the higher vibrations that accompany the photon belt that will transform your earth into what will surely be a paradise compared to your present life experiences. These are changes that have been planned for a long time and that are now gradually manifesting and that nothing can prevent them from appearing complete in their forms. Much depends on the announcement being made of the new republic that is now poised to replace the present and former U.S. corporation. The shamans will do their best to delay this announcement and are becoming desperate, as their powers quickly continue to decline. The trepidist attempts to cause delays, clearly, are an important factor in the developments that will soon occur, though nothing can hinder progress in the right direction. The result is governed by rules that guarantee that the only souls who can advance towards ascension are those whose vibrations have been elevated. It would not be in the interest of those whose vibrations were not elevated to try to find a place in the ascension, considering that even if they could do it somehow, it would be a very uncomfortable experience. However, their timelines will continue to progress in a new cycle in another direction that will naturally offer them a new opportunity to attain ascension. The evolution of the soul that is in progress plans them to guarantee their successes. As souls develop, new information is provided to them at a level consistent with theirs. It is done in this way so that no soul is overloaded or obtain information that is too advanced for its understandings. However, those on the path of ascension will need to receive more at a faster rate so that they are sufficiently aware to deal with the new aspects of life being revealed to them. For example, many of you know that each of you has a higher self. However, not everyone realizes that they are yourselves, meaning that when you incarnated on earth, you have only brought limited aspects of yourself. This was to ensure that they began as it were, with a clean slate, so that they could concentrate on life in the low vibrations without distractions, since responding and treating the problems in this experience gives them an invaluable experience that, in the future, will make good use. There is a lot about the human body that you are unaware of, although there are positive signs of developments in the right direction. Most of their medical understandings are primitive in comparison to that, where they will be in the very near future. They will do extraordinary things with their capacities of thought, together with the young and more evolved souls who will be ready to show them what they can do, they will advance in strides. The surgeon's knife, of course, will be unnecessary and medical problems will be treated without opening bodies. However, when souls rise, they will have full control over their bodies that will need little or no healing once they are completely healthy. Keep in mind that these moments will be when you can live continuously in a young body that does not grow old. Much will be achieved through the power of thought, insofar as they will manifest what they desire to meet their needs. Lots of information is being released because they need a broader view of life that will become quite different from what they are currently having. Many changes for the good of all are waiting to be introduced and, as has been said many times before, circumstances must be such that there are no interferences or delays. For example, current cars will be replaced with models that do not burn fuels to operate instead using free energy that is non-polluting and universally available. Ideas for where technology is headed are already being developed, thus accelerating its introduction. The future is exciting, but for peace-loving souls who care about each other and who will happily share the rewards of the earth with everyone. They form a human race, and once they begin to work together for the good of all, progress will be swift and uplifting. Let me reiterate that in 2012, 
you entered a time without specific predictions besides the ascension and you would have much to experience in your previous period. They are building a path open for the thoughts, desires, and actions of greater vibrations than those previously experienced. The energy they are receiving as well, is helping them to evolve as they are moving into a new area of space that will be more beneficial. All the old vibrations are rapidly declining, since there is no more place for them. In the midst of such changes, they will be forgiven for thinking that chaos would never end considering the difficult period they are going through. Chaos that, however, cannot last much longer than the time frame in which the new energies are established. The greatest and welcome changes that come will be with you who will have to experience them, as the old energies move away and become less effective because they can no longer be sustained. Joy will not be of short duration, for the period after the ascension will last for at least a thousand years. In that same period, due to high vibrations, they will not age and will remain at whatever level they want. Likewise, things will not decay or rot. There is so much yet to come that they can hardly keep up. The future has already been resolved, so any effort you make now will be worth it. The fact that, of course, they will no longer have to suffer from diseases and that they will remain in good health in the higher vibrations. After all, everything is energy and your future developments will be focused on it for all your needs. It will be the powers of your thoughts that will supply many of your needs so that you can see the life that will be totally different from what you now know. What is waiting for you will give you the strength to overcome all the difficulties or problems present, which will be of short duration. However, many souls are not only turning to the light, since now they have the desire to help their fellow travelers and look for ways to be of service. These steps help lift the vibrations and further weaken the power of darkness. Every bit of help and, collectively, the light workers have far more power than they ever suspected. For us, it is very warm to see how the light is spreading so quickly, something expected, after they have raised the vibrations to pass the mark of the year 2012. We can only say very well to all the souls that contributed to the success they are experiencing and rightly enjoying. I leave you all with love and blessings and may the light illuminate your days and ways until the conclusion of your journeys. This message came through my higher self. In love and light. Mike Quincy